everybody, Big Man Zacharnim here, giving out a quick apology before this video starts. First off, of why I haven't put a video out in a while. A lot of stuff has been happening in my personal life that made it really difficult. Some new changes happened, um, some of the video er, programs on my computer kind of decided to crap out on me. So I, di so I had to get rid of all of them and uh, use some of the base stuff on my computer that came with my computer until I'm able to get some new uh, programs that will really help me out. So that's going to put in even more delay on the Wizard 101, sadly. Because I want to make everything look good for you guys. Because I'm doing this not only t because I enjoy doing it, but because um, I want you, the viewers, to enjoy, have a good time, have fun watching videos and stuff. Which also kind of brings me up to my next apology, which is for this video. The reason why I'm getting rid of Wii Game is because it is total crap for this. And apparently it's starting to get really bad. Like, this game, Perfect World, amazingly visual. Just beautiful. And this, the recording that I did, makes it look terrible. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be releasing this video um, because I put so much work into it and one of my friends helped me out with it and you'll hear him soon. And so I'm posting this because so much work went into it and it's kind of a shame that all that work went to waste. But I do apologize for how bad the video turned out, uh, visually wise. The quality of it is just bad, so I'm getting rid of Wii games, and I'm getting fraps right now, which is making everything look so much better. And also, once this video is released, I'm going to be releasing my two other videos of uh, Guild Wars and uh, Portal. Look forward to that. I'm editing it right now, and again, the, gra the quality of the video kind of sucks. That's only temporary. Everything else will be looking good right after that. So... Let's get back on to the video. Yep. <clears throat> Any of 
my personal information. Okay, so, as you can see, we got no one here. And I'm realizing right now it might be a little bit difficult for you to hear us right now because um, of the music playing. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be getting rid of that once I get the create the character created. Sorry, and I'm also gonna be making some other addition or other changes. So since we got no one here, let's make our character. Sounds good to me. Create. Whoa, hello. That's actually kind of cool. All right, so. Perfect World is by far one of the most aesthetically pleasing games I've ever seen. The visuals are just amazing. It's one act it's actually won a couple of awards for um, its visuals and all that stuff. I can and tell right off the bat that it has like really, really great saturation effects and it's got very, very good visuals just from like where I'm sitting at this point, which is in a corner. <laughs> looking at a screen from a diagonal view. Yeah, so. he made me mad so I punished him to the corner. That's the last time you eat my hot pocket, you bastard. It was so delicious. It was my hot pocket that sorry, personal issue. <laughs> Alright, here, let me actually turn the computer so you can see it. <laughs> Yay! Yay! I can see things. Okay, so um, Perfect World also comes with some really uh, really amazing uh, character customization. But we'll get to that once we are done talking about the classes, the races and classes. Now then, the first and by far the most basic of races is the human race. Yeah, of course. Everyone's got to have a human race. And the, and the human race, of course, comes with the two genders that... Hello, hotness! Sorry. Uh, <laughs> comes anyway. With two <laughs> comes with the two different genders and only two, ra and only two classes. That's, in my opinion, one of the downsides of of a perfect world, like the limited class, like the class system it has, you only get two, and for me, I love a game that has multiple classes for different races, and if it's just got two, and it's not really my thing, but it's still fun. There's not much of a variety in this. Yeah. But, uh, the two classes are the Blade Master, uh, and the Wizard. So, as you can probably guess, Blade Master, cat and slash type of character, and then the wizard is a wizard. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> the next race is actually really, really cool. The Untamed. The Untamed is is actually a an animal beast hybrid type of class where they where they actually are Yeah, he doesn't even know what the hell he is. Uh he's kinda like a, a furry animation thing. Oh like, god, he's a furry! Where humans have animal characteristics, but this is definitely a animal that's walking on two legs. Yeah, but actually that's something cool. The Untamed actually have the natural ability to turn into an animal. That's pretty awesome. Wait, they already are an animal. That's No, animal. like a full animal. Like, the males are able to turn into a big-ass white tiger. They already are a tiger. An actual... Like, walk on all four legs, Tiger. They have four legs now. <laughs> no, no, he's got two legs and two arms. Whatever. So yeah, they can turn into the actual animal form instead of the human-animal hybrid they originally are. But there's a bad thing about this this race. Um, If you're a male, you have to be their melee class, which is the Barbarian. And if you're female, no. Oh, and if you're female, you have to be the Venomancer, which doesn't really have animal, isn't really like an animal-human crossover. It's pretty much the equivalent of a cat girl, or in this case, a box girl. True, but you can make the changes. Sadly, um, the Venomancer is more of like the status bait. Is kind of like a infecting status type of class, while the Barbarian. Oh, no shit. He's a hack and slash type thingy. Well, I smash the living shit out of you. This is probably one of my favorite races right here. The winged elf. The winged elf. Okay, this is actually a really cool thing about the game. In the game, you can fly, and you can either fly on, on a like a flying animal, like a flying mount, or for the certain human characters, you can fly on your freaking sword. Wow. I don't 
don't care who you sword. I don't care who you are. That is awesome. Agreed. <laughs> but the wing and elves. The cool thing about them is that they can actually fly from level one. They are pretty much like angels. They have wings already, even though they're not really showing right now. But it's actually extremely cool. Um, the game gives you total versatility on flying and all that stuff. You can move all over the place. And the two, uh... Alright, I'm getting distracted by the girl, so I'm moving over to the male character. Uh, female interaction? What is that? That was sad. Uh... I take <laughs> that back. Good God, that was sad. Anyway, anyway, moving back to the characters here. <laughs> okay, so the two classes for the winged elf are the archer. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I kind of like the one shoulder pad thing. Mm, yeah. But anyway, the archer and the cleric. The archer is the obvious long-ranged character class, while the cleric is, I'm guessing, the healer of this, of this game. Alright. The next race is one that was added a while ago, but it was completely new to me. And that is the Tideborn. Pretty much these are like the mermen, or mermaids of the of a perfect world. When you enter the water with them, they actually change form. That's actually pretty cool. That's pretty sick. Yeah. And uh, the two classes they have are the Psychic. That's Shelly. And the Assassin. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I wonder if he's come out of the closet yet. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright. <laughs> looks like he has a breast hanging out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I wonder, I wonder what the female version of it looks like. Oh, Disappointment. Half disappointment. It's still... Yeah, okay. Yeah. She's in a bikini, so... Eh, yeah, it's a... Point taken. Point taken. The next one is the Earth Guard. Now, I have... No idea what is what's so different about them. They look exactly like another human race, but um, with these guys, th they kind of look like they have a third eye, <laughs> don't they? Yeah, that are a really bad placement of a tattoo. <laughs> Good point. Oh my God, it's Clay Aiken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Run for the hills. <laughs> Run for the hills, he's gonna sing a song! Or it's Clay Aiken's child, one of the two. Oh god. Uh, so yeah, the two, the two classes for this is the Seeker, which I don't understand the name. Um, but it's the melee class, and they can only use a sword. While the other class is... The Mystic. The Mystic. Magic. Alright, I guess you know what those two are. Yeah. So, since I've never played the Earth Guard, I'm gonna start off with an Earth Guard. I'm going to do an Earthguard character. Um, now, it's time to show you the character customization. The fun stuff. <laughs>